Hello everyone, very good evening and welcome to this uh, live session regarding 300 MCQs for the upcoming SSCGL, CHSL as well as railway examinations. So hope your preparation for these exams is going on well, right? How are you people? Hope you are fit and fine, right? So I see many of you have joined the session. Let's move on to the, f the first part. We have seen 30 questions. In this part also we will see uh, more 30 questions. So from 31 to 60. Moving on to the first question. Yes, hope you can see my screen. Yes, moving on to the first question. Here is a 31st question. Match the following correctly. These are sports persons. You have to match them with their correct sport you have only 10 seconds don't take more than 10 seconds you get the pd you will get the pdf on examprep.talentspin.com yes sabko pranam and namaskar yes namaste so what would be the right answer for this question i want the answer for this question as soon as possible be active in answering the questions. Pooja Danda, is she related to? She is related to? Wrestling. Wrestling is the right answer. Pooja Danda is related to wrestling. Chaurab Chaudhary recently has won gold along with uh, uh, Mehuli Ghosh. Uh, he belongs to shooting. And Swapna Barman, she has won the gold at Heptathlon. That means seven events. She is from West Bengal and Sikki Reddy, she is from Hyderabad and she belongs to badminton. So, C, D, A, B is the right answer. Option number B is the right answer. Yes. Shall we move on to the next question? Next. Who has become the first English writer to be awarded with the Gnan Peet Award 2018? Gnan Peet Award 2018. Gnanpit award is given by Bharatiya Gnanpit Trust. Be fast in answering the questions. Don't be dull and lazy. Okay. So what could be the right answer? First Gnanpit award for English. So it was given to Amitav Ghosh. Amitav Ghosh has got this Gnanpit award for 2000. 18. For 17, it was given to Krishna Sobti. She has uh, passed away recently. Okay, for 18, it was given to Amitav Ghosh for English. Next. The UN Food and Agricultural Organization has decided to observe which year as the International Year of Millets. Yes, what could be the right answer? The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. It is headquartered at Rome of Italy. Yes. Yes, you will get the PDF at examprep.talentsprint.com. So, which year was observed as International Year of Millets? It is 2023. Millet is a... Millets we have. What are those millets? Bajra, Ragi and Jowar. These are the major millets which are useful for proteins. Next, somebody asked, uh, should I make notes for GI? It's up to you how uh, you will make the notes. Which, is, which one is the correct chronological order of the following events? Quit India Movement, Shimla Conference, Pune Pact, Cabinet Mission. Don't take more than 10 seconds. What could be the right answer? Chronological order means starting from the earliest. To latest that is called chronological order which happened first and which happened later so what could be the right answer who is going to answer this first chronological order Shivangi Soni says option number two let's see when did quit India movement happen it was happened in the year 1940 when did Shimla conference take place? 1945. When did Pune Pact take place between Ambedkar and Gandhiji? 1932. 
when did cabinet mission which has arrived in India it has happened in 1946 so C A B D so option number C is the right answer clear so you have to be thorough with the years next the pH of human blood is slightly basic slightly acidic highly acidic or highly basic somebody says how to make notes for GI it's up to you we have all the videos on talentspin.com you have to make a concise notes no don't write everything so that you can revise it easily so human blood pH we have pH scale from 0 to 7 which is acidic in nature which has H plus ions and from 7 to 14 it is basic in nature which has OH minus ions. So generally pH of the human blood is slightly basic. It varies from 7 to 7.5. If it is acidic it doesn't pass. So it is slightly basic in nature not acidic in nature. India has longest international border with which of the following countries? Is it Bhutan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Pakistan? Longest international border. With how many countries does India has international border? India has international border with how many countries? Yes. With seven countries. Let's see what are those. First tell me what is the right answer for this question. And India is also the seventh largest country in the world in terms of area. Okay. In terms of area, we have first is Russia, second is Canada, next is US, next is China, next is Brazil, and next is Australia, and seventh is India. Okay, you have to remember this is in terms of area. First is Russia. Second, Canada, third, US, fourth, China, fifth, Brazil, sixth, Australia, seventh is India. Okay, what is the right answer? The longest international border is with Bangladesh. It is around 4096 kilometers. Okay, let's see in the next slide the international land border. Okay, the total international land border is 15,106 kilometers. The total international border, the highest border is with Bangladesh. Next is China, 3488. Next is Pakistan, next Nepal, next Myanmar, next Bhutan and next Afghanistan. So total seven nations, India has land boundary. Okay, you can see the figure also. Next. The Thodarmal was the famous revenue minister of which Mughal emperor? You have to remember the order also. First Bangladesh, then China, then Pakistan then Nepal sometimes they ask the order in the middle also next Thodar Mal was the famous revenue minister of which Mughal Emperor who is going to answer this first yes the right answer is Akbar Akbar had Navaratnas in his court or nine jewels or nine people in his court the famous people are uh, Thodar Mal was the finance minister Next, uh, Birbal. What was the Birbal's original name? Mahesh Das. He was the only Hindu in these nine jewels. Abul Fazal. He has written the autobiography, sorry, biography of Akbar. Right? It is Akbar Nama. Okay, so total, total nine people were present in. Akbar's court, Ashta Diggajas in Sri Krishna Devaraya, eight people, Ashta Pradhan in Shivaji's court. Okay, next, the Rovers Cup is related to which of the following sport? The Rovers Cup is related to which of the following sports? So, who is going to answer this first? It is related to 
football is the right answer. You have to remember Santos Trophy is related to football. You should know the extra information also. Don't learn only the question and answer. Okay, hockey we have uh, Sultan Azlan Shah Cup. Recently we have seen AFC Asian Cup for football. Right, soccer you know, everyone knows FIFA, everyone knows. Right, gold we have PGA Tours, etc. These are some of the important trophies. Who composed the Allahabad Pillar Inscription? Allahabad Pillar Inscription. As the name says, it is located in Allahabad. So Allahabad Inscription is very famous. It was written by Hari Sena. Who was Hari Sena? Hari Sena was the court poet of whom the famous Gupta ruler Samudra Gupta who was the son of Chandra Gupta one yes or no yes Samudra Gupta is also called as Indian Napoleon so what was written in Allahabad pillar inscription it was uh, it is called as Prashastis in praise of so some poems were written in praise of Samudra Gupta by Harisena who was a court poet of Samudra Gupta clear and Gupta Nera starts from this is an extra information Gupta Nera starts from Chandra Gupta 1 that is from 320 AD Sakaira starts from 78 AD that is of Kanishka okay next who is the author of the book the selection day recent it was uh, the Netflix has also come up with this uh, series selection day web series selection day yes it was written by it is related to cricket it was written by Aravind Adiga okay next who among the following has or have been awarded Bharat Ratna in 2019? Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian award. Which is highest civilian award in India? Highest civilian award. Highest gallantry award is Ashok Chakra. Okay. Highest civilian award first, then, then comes Padma Vibhushan. This is the order. Then comes Padma Bhushan. Then comes Padma Shri. This is the order. The highest civilian award is Bharat Ratna. So it was given to all of them. Bhupan Hazarika is a very famous uh, musician or singer from Assam. Okay, we have the Bhupan Hazarika Bridge. Yes, Dola Sadia Bridge. Nana Deshmukh is from Maharashtra. He is a social activist so everyone knows about Pranab Mukherjee the former president of India and also the former finance minister so all of the above is the right answer all of them have got the Bharat Ratna which of the following country has co-sponsored Cobra Gold an annual multilateral military exercise along with Thailand so along with Thailand which of the following countries have conducted the Cobra Gold military exercise. Recently it was conducted. So you have to be thorough with note down somewhere all the military exercises between whom all the Navy exercises between all the air exercises note down somewhere. Like Indra. Indra is between India and Russia. right? Varuna is between India and France, Konkani to India and UK. So it was sponsored by USA, USA and Thailand is the right answer. Next. Which of the following amendments is also known as the mini constitution of India? I think very easy question. Mini constitution of India. Why it is called mini constitution? Because of its length of all amendments till date 
so it is the lengthiest amendment hence it is called as mini constitution generally what do you mean by amendment amendment means you can add edit or modify anything in the constitution we do amendments under article 368 of the constitution right very important article 368 so which is called a mini constitution it is 42nd amendment which was made in the year 1976 yes or no so the words socialist secular integrity were added through to preamble or not these are some of the features yes so preamble was only amended once through this 42nd amendment this is one of the feature of 42nd amendment which is also called as mini constitution the first amendment for the indian constitution was made in 1951 next what is the reason for formation of mirage mirage in desert mirage in desert you see some uh, water right from a distance in a desert or on a road so what is the reason but when you go there you will not find any water right so what is the reason for it is it refraction of light reflection of light total internal reflection or both refraction and total internal reflection somebody asked pdf pdf you will get it on exam prep dot talent spin dot com ok on our website so what is the right answer the right answer is refraction as well as total internal reflection so why does it happen refraction is happening because air has to pass different layers of cold and hot air right so when there are two mediums there will be refraction there will be bending so that is refraction and because of there is so many hindrances or obstacles we get the total internal reflection so when these two combine we get the mirage in deserts or on roads etc okay understood next which movie won the award for the best movie at the oscar awards 2019 91st academy awards yes what could be the right answer it was won by green book green book is the right answer okay best short documentary it was won by indian uh, made documentary the period end of sentence right so for uh, best movie it was taken by green book next for uh, best uh, actor rami malek for Bohem bohemian rhapsody and best actress olivia colman next which indian state has the longest coastline starting from gujarat till west bengal so which state or ut has the options we have only states so highest coastline or longest coastline somebody asked pdf link it is exam prep dot talent spin dot com we have to log in and you have to go to general knowledge section and live class recordings you'll get the pdf there so most of you say it is some say gujarat some say andhra Pradesh. but the right answer is gujarat is the right answer it is it has the longest coastline and second longest is andhra Pradesh. and as it has longest coastline it is the largest salt producing state in the country okay second is andhra pradesh okay next alps mountain range is located in which continent alps mountain ranges is located in which continent
what is the coast total coastline of india it is around 7016 kilometers including andaman nicobar and lakshadweep islands 7116 7516 kilometers alp mountain ranges it is in europe is the right answer okay in north america we have rocky mountains very famous uh, grasslands we have prairies right in north america these are uh, weed growing states in south america we have uh, andes mountains and the highest peak is mount aconcagua in chile in africa we have uh, mount kilimanjaro this is the highest peak which is in tanzania and kenya border it is a volcanic mountain mount kilimanjaro okay pdf kaha milega exam prep dot talentspin dot com a difference between two longitudes at equator is nearby equivalent to dash kilometers what are longitudes what are latitudes so latitudes are the longest latitude is equator right these are parallel lines those are actually circles right these are latitudes they are always parallel in nature and what are longitudes when we draw from north pole to south pole we get the longitudes right so at the equator the distance will be higher and at the poles it will be zero so longest at the equator how much is the, the total circumference of earth is 40,000 kilometers okay approximately and when I divide it by 360 I will get approximately 1111 kilometers this is the exact explanation so at the longitudes if you take at the equator it is 111 kilometers or 66 miles right okay clear totally we have 360 longitudes okay 180 plus 180 degree east 180 degree west and they coincide at international date line right international date line it will passes through uh, the asia and the america con north america right it's a zigzag line okay and we have 181 longitudes 0 to 90 north 0 to 90 south okay clear next who among the following has been awarded with the prestigious Rajiv Gandhi Kail Ratna award this question was asked recently in CDS examination in UPSC CDS examination so you have to be thorough with the awards sports okay so who were awarded Rajiv Kail Ratna award by the Indian government so our Indian captain Virat Kohli is it only Virat Kohli or anyone else and Saiko Mirabai Chanu okay she is a Indian weightlifter some of them might not be knowing so both B and C is the right answer India's first rail university started operations in somebody asked how many questions in each part we deal 30 questions okay India's first railway university or national rail and transport university NRTI sorry national rail and transport institute they may call it as NRTI also so where was it inaugurated it was inaugurated in Vadodara of Gujarat okay an economic system combining private and state enterprise that means government and the private when I combine both of them what is it called as when you clearly read the question you will get the answer okay so if it is private means it is a capitalistic economy common means it is a socialistic economy what is the best example of capitalistic economy 
I've explained in my first video itself in economics, USA. They will work only for what is the main motto? Profit is the main motto. You don't worry about the poor people. And what is the best example of uh, socialistic economy? You can take China. Okay, or Russia. What is the main motto? Public welfare is the main motto. So when I combine them and mix them, I will get mixed economy. So which is the best example of mixed economy? It is India. That means we allow public enterprises in some sectors like defense, railways and we allow private people to come and invest in some sectors like IT etc. So it is mixed economy. Understood everyone? Next. Rani Jansi Marine National Park is in Dash. Rani Jansi Marine National Park. All of them are related to coastal states or UTs. So Rani Jansi Marine National Park is in? Yes. What could be the right answer? It is in Andaman Nicobar Islands. We also have Mahatma Gandhi National Park also in Andaman National Park, uh, Andaman Nicobar Islands. Okay. In Kerala, we have Periyar National Park. In Gujarat, we have Gir National Park. Okay. In Tamil Nadu, we have Annamalai, Satyamangalam Tiger Reserve, Mudumalai Tiger Reserve. Okay, in Kerala we have Periyar, Parambikulam, yes, Rana of Kutch National Park in Gujarat, okay, next. Justice Ranjan Gogoi was appointed as Dash Chief Justice of India. Justice Ranjan Gogoi, who was the first Chief Justice of India? Anyone knows it? First Chief Justice of India. It is H.J. Kaniya in 1950. Supreme Court has come into force in 26 January 1950 when India uh, became Republic. So Justice Ranjan Gogoi from Assam, he has become the 46th Chief Justice of India after Deepak Misra has. Next. In which battle was Swiraj Daula defeated by Lord Clive? Swiraj Daula, the Nawab of Bengal, right? Very famous battle. Which is that? Who is going to answer this first? Siraj Daula was defeated by Lord Clive. Yes, Praveen has given the right answer. Battle of Plassey, which has taken. It is actually Palashi. So, Indian uh, British used to call it as Bad Plassey. Okay, between Siraj Daula and the British. So Siraj Daula was defeated. When was Battle of Baksar fought? 1764. Okay. Between British and Mir Zafar, Shah Alam of right, and Nawab of Awadh. And British will win in this in both the cases and battle of Panipat we have three battles first second and third first war has taken place in 1526 the Babar will win against Ibrahim Lodi and second battle in 1556 between Hemu versus Akbar actually it is Bairam Khan of Akbar so Akbar will win in third it has taken place in 1570 when is it? Third battle of Panipat in 17. Sorry. 
1761 i'm sorry okay between when was third battle took place in 1761 between whom maharana marathas and ahmad shah abdali okay battle of haldigadi took place in 1576 between rana pratap singh versus man singh of akbar and rana pratap singh will escape through his horse called chetaka okay yes clear with this next which of the following disease is non communicable in nature non communicable that means it doesn't spread away with the touch okay so whenever you read the question you have to read it carefully does cholera spread tuberculosis tb it is caused by what it is caused by bacteria and cholera is also caused by bacteria bacteria means it is a communicable disease chicken pox is caused by virus so these are communicable diseases and cancer heart heart attack diabetes all these are non communicable diseases they don't spread with any touch or coughing etc clear so the right answer is cancer is the right answer understood everyone what are the main components of brass alloy brass alloy what is copper and tin copper and tin is you get bronze right and there is one more uh, thing called bell metal so it is copper and bra tin tin is sn when you have higher tin it is called bell metal it is used for bells okay and copper and zinc is brass very important alloy copper and zinc is brass copper and tin is bronze okay clear everyone when you mix copper and tin and tin in a higher quantity you will get bell metal next which of the following is called gdp deflator gdp stands for gross domestic product right so generally growth is calculated through gdp national income etc right so what do you mean by gdp deflator gdp deflator means it is it is a ratio of nominal gdp to real gdp so what do you what is the difference between these two so when i take inflation into account inflation means rise in prices right so that gdp is called real gdp and nominal gdp inflation is not taken into account clear so nominal to real gdp is the right answer clear next how many pair of ribs are there in human body how many pair of ribs are there in are present in human body so how many pair of ribs yes 
who is going to answer this first so someone says 13 what about others 12 so answer is fluctuating between 12 and 13 what is the right answer so the right answer is 12 pairs of ribs i'll show you the figure so these are the 12 pairs of ribs clear with this In, inside ribs we have the lungs and diaphragm okay Next. two more questions left what is the duration in minutes of one half of a football match we have then second half generally gap is between 15 minutes it varies from 12 to 15 minutes mostly 15 minutes is a gap between two halves so how much is the duration of each half in football yes most of you go with the right answer shall i fix it 45 minutes all of you agree yes shall i lock it yes 45 minutes is the right answer a total 90 minutes plus 15 minutes okay clear and the last question of the day which color is formed when blue and green are mixed so after seeing all these questions you have to get an idea that such type for such type of questions you have to prepare for right that is my main intention when blue and green are mixed is it addition or subtraction I think addition right so most of you go with option number some people say cyan some say black so what could be the right answer the right answer is let me show you the figure first so it is cyan is the right answer not brown not black or violet so here is a figure so additive color subtractive color we are going for additive color when you mix blue and green you get cyan when you mix green and red you get yellow when you mix blue and red you get magenta clear so you have to for such type of questions in the upcoming CGL exam and CHSL as well as railways so hope you have enjoyed the session thumbs up yes and let me know your score did you score more than 25 how many of you have scored more than 25 in 30 questions let me know how many of you scored more than 20 more than 15 more than 10 below 10 you have to improve 10 to 20 you have to work hard more than that and more than 25 you have to forget GA that's it okay clear so thank you so much for joining let's meet in the part 3 from 61 to 90 okay I'll meet you next time somebody asked my name you can see it on talentsprint.com so thank you so much take very good care of yourself i'll meet you on part three on next thursday at 6 pm be prepared and get achieve your goals as soon as possible thank you